In today's video, I wanted to talk about another one of these uh, power banks. Um, this is the Foss Power Power Active. Uh, one of the USB power blocks that you use to charge your phone with. The kind of neat thing I liked about this one was, and you can see from the picture here, that it is snowproof, waterproof, dirt proof, uh, and drop proof. Um, it's a pretty rugged device. Um, uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, it does, it comes with a little carabiner and the compass came with it too. You know, I, I don't know that the compass is all too great, but uh, it's on there and it's nice. It's a neat little way to keep a couple things together. Um, but yeah, let me talk about this a little bit. Uh, the some of the specifications on this, and I'm just going to read from the box here. Um, it's got LED, LED indicators on it, and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, the power button is external on the side. There is a door that you'll see here in a minute that opens up, and there's a flashlight in it. Uh, it's a two amp uh, charging circuit, so it actually charges really fast. So that when you've used it, say you used it during the evening to charge your, uh, you know, your tablet, your phone, your whatever. When you, if you say for me, like for example, I would be using some solar panels during the day that I could plug my panels in and it accepts up to two amps of input charge. So you can recharge this um, device back up um, in a short period of time. Um, I'd say, you know, four to five hours and it will be fully charged back up because it has a really high input circuit. Um, and then it has the normal 2.1 amp output for rapid charging of cell phones and uh, small tablets, things like that. Um, it is a 9,000 milliamp hour battery. Um, according to the packaging, it says it will fully charge an iPhone four to five times and a Galaxy S series uh, two to three times. And I have the S5 active, so uh, I may do some further testing. This is more just a first impressions uh, on this device. Um, it is IP67 certified to withstand water uh, three feet or one meter uh, for 30 minutes, uh, obviously making sure that the port, the door is closed. Um, in, the, in the package, it comes with the charger, a micro USB cable, the user manual, and the carabiner and the little compass. So I'll put that to the side here. Uh, let me get the device back out. Um, and I do have some specifications uh, a little bit more on this because I, a lot of people like to know because it's hard to tell on camera what something looks like. So um, the dimensions on this are and I'll give you the exact off the packaging is 3.98, so almost four inches, uh, 2.54, so almost two and a, a little over two and a half inches, uh, and 1.06, so it's a, an inch thick. Um, on Amazon uh, right now, uh, and it, this is in the it's in the uh, NC Prepper store. Um, so they are selling for $39.99 or $40. Um, it, so I'll come back to my notes here in a minute. I'll show you some of the stuff in uh, action. So obviously it does have a branded carabiner, Boss Power. Uh, it does have a little compass. Um, it seem, I, it's just the, the little uh, button compass. I'm not sure if it glows in the dark or anything. And it's attached to the unit just with a little metal D-ring there. Um, it does have the false power on the top, gives you a little, uh, you know, just reviews that information I read out to you. Uh, the, the, um, to, to see how much charge is in there, I don't know if you can see that, there's a button right there, and when you push that, it lights up. So right now it's fully charged. Um, the, uh, you open the door here, uh, and let's see, get that in real tight. It's got a rubber seal in there that matches the opening. So there's a triangular one and then there's a rectangular one. Um, it does have an LED light. You push the button twice really fast, like uh, just in double, uh, double clicking like a mouse or something. You just double click it and it lights up and you do it again and it turns off. Um, it, every time you do that though, 
it does light up the charging circuit as well to see how much charge is in there but those are LEDs so it's, it's next to nothing to run that um, and it does have some uh, I don't think you, I don't know if you're gonna read that or not it has some information imprinted on the bottom uh, talking about where the light is the, just basically telling you what the ports mean on there um, so uh, it's it's tough it's a brick man this thing way I did uh, the weight on this is 7.76 ounces um, my wife and daughter held this and and they were kind of surprised at how heavy this thing actually feels uh, and it must be that there's some insulation or something in this um, because it's uh, it's pretty heavy, pretty rugged. You know, I do like the rubberized feel. It's not too grippy, but it it, uh, it feels good in the hand. Um, so let's do a little bit of testing today, because uh, it says it's supposed to be waterproof, drop proof, snow proof. Well, I got a lot of that here. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna take the camera off the uh, tripod, and we'll walk around a little bit, and I'll drop this into some stuff and and uh, see how it works. So here, I'm gonna reset the camera. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna. Uh, I've got about a, I don't know, almost a foot worth of water here. I, I came up here just so I could do a little bit more controlled um, because I really wanted to be able to see around uh, the the unit to see whether I could see any air bubbles or anything like that. And I wanted something kind of clear um, instead of the the water that I was gonna dunk it into was pretty murky. So I'm gonna dunk it in here real quick and let's just see what happens. Hopefully it won't overflow. Alright. Let's see. Like I said, we could take and we can look at that uh where that hinge is to see. I don't really see any bubbles coming out. So the reason I say that is um you would think that if water were going in, air would be coming out. So I'm just one it doesn't look like it's take this out okay let's give the uh, battery a check here all right so that's still good now let's open this up and I see a little bit of water on there that's quite a bit actually uh, but the light's still working. Okay, well, I'll, I'll head back over, uh, put the camera back on the tripod, and uh, we'll take a little bit closer look. Okay, all right, so I, I came back and uh, brought the uh, camera back to the tripod, and I just kind of wanted to take a look around to see um, I did dry it off a little bit. Um, I just came from uh, having it in the water, so let's. Uh, okay, yeah, I wanted to just to double check to make sure that the uh, the uh, charge indicator lights are lighting up. Let's. Um, I am noticing that there is a little bit of dampness in the, inside the seal there. Uh, there's actually there's some water there, so I have to. I'm glad I kind of did that. I didn't leave it in very long. But I'm noticing that there's some water. Um, but let's, uh, the light still works. Um, so let's do this. I'm gonna um, plug that in. Uh, I brought a, a, a micro USB cord out. Um, let me open up my phone here real quick. In case you're wondering, um, you may or may not know, this is the um, Samsung Galaxy S5 Active. So it actually is a waterproof phone as well. Um, six feet for 30 minutes also. Um, but it has a little, uh, let's see if I can show you. It has a door on it that you cover the, the uh, USB port on. And it has a little rubber pad there too to seal that up. So let's plug this in. Ah, there it goes. It popped up immediately and started, it's charging. So that, func that part's working also, that's good. So far, so good. 
Um, I am worried about that water a little bit. I'll have to maybe I'll do another longer test uh, and just see um, if any water does end up getting in there. Um, so let me go over my list here real quick of uh, some of my pros and cons. Set the camera here. Okay. Um, so I do like the fact that it's got the flashlight on there. Uh, it's it's just another little light that comes in handy sometimes. It runs right off the battery pack. I like that it's rugged. You know, it doesn't feel loose. The the um, the rubber is not too uh, not too sticky, but then also not too slick. Um, I like the low cost. It's about forty dollars for something that is um, IP67 rated for snow, dirt dropping and waterproof um, I like the larger battery capacity uh, 9,000 milliamps the faster charging even though it does only have one outlet I mean I would typically only have my phone and maybe my iPad I've got a little iPad mini in a life proof case so I could um, have both of the cables and be able to charge um, I don't know if I could charge them fully but um, in conjunction uh, with one of my solar panels that I've got, um, I could keep this thing charged during the day and then I could charge things up at night so I could alternate charging. Um, now onto some of the things I don't like about it. I don't like how thick it is. Um, I, I think that this could be a little thinner. Um, it's a little over an inch thick and the, the uh, whatever this stuff is, the outer casing makes it seem thick yeah, I just I, I could I don't like it being that thick um, this door is a little hard to open actually you know but seems strange because it was actually you know some tail some signs of water but uh, it could have come in through this um, through where the hinge comes in I don't know if you can see that it's uh, and then let's open it from here and look so it looks like there's just a metal bar that goes across but the door's thick you know and then there is a rubber pad but having dunked it in that water i actually did see now i don't see really any water in the jacks but i was seeing water along here and it should be a tighter seal than that um so yeah the, maybe with some use the door will be a little easier to open um uh and then yeah, so that uh, you've got to be careful. And then the other thing is, is that you've got to be careful with this door. You can't um, you can't be too rough with it because that's the only line of defense for this for this model for being waterproof. That is, I would say for the most part, uh, I, I don't anticipate going somewhere that I'm going to be in water for 30 minutes with this. I um, so I, I'm thinking that if I just have this clipped to my backpack using the carabiner and I were to fall in somehow in the water that uh, this is going to come out with no problem at all because um, I'm for the most part just jump right back out of the water so um, this again is just a review uh, first impressions review on this Foss Power uh, IP67 waterproof battery uh, bank and um, Hopefully you found this interesting. Um, hopefully that if it was something you were searching on, you know, it gives you a little bit of, uh, you know, at least first impressions on it. So uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And, you know, as always, uh, to be notified when I come out with new videos, please subscribe uh, using the subscribe button there. And um, this is available on my Amazon store. Um, it doesn't affect the price of what you pay for the unit. Um, it just provides me with a little bit of a commission uh, and then I'm able to reuse. I actually use some of that money to buy this specifically to review because I had had my eye on it for a while. So it does help me and then hopefully it helps the community because it brings things which would normally not be um, something you might think about uh, to the forefront and you know, we can all share and learn together. So. Uh, there again, um, just please subscribe and you'll get notified when I come out with a new video. And uh, th thanks again, everybody.